get started. Today, you're gonna to need a pencil, eraser, a, this is called an old, uh, fine point Sharpie, which I do a lot of outlining. And this is the ultra fine point Sharpie. And we'll be using that to outline also. And I have a box of sharp Sharpies. And this is Bristol paper um, or Bristol board. It's a heavier paper. If you don't have this, which most of you probably won't, you can use regular drawing paper or you can use a brown paper bag. Uh, will work just fine once you get going. So, let me do this. Move everything aside. So we start here. And this is about um, just random numbers or letters. You can do numbers also. Um, but we're gonna just connect all these letters. And the easiest thing for me to do is I like to start, and they're bubble letters, okay? So if you have trouble with bubble letters, you can always draw just a basic letter and then bubble it. So that I mean just do, like I will start with my first initial. This isn't a bubble letter, right? So the way you make it bub bubble letter is you can make it rounded, but I'm gonna go with square and I'm just gonna go around it. And that's how you just, you just kind of copy what you have there. Okay, so I have this E. No, I don't really want that there. Okay, I have started now. I think um, what we're gonna do is mess with um, positive and negative space. Now, the next letter I want um is going to be how about if i do i'm going to use right against here i'm going to draw the letter p and you can draw that's totally random by the way you can draw lowercase and uppercase and i'm going to make this p kind of funky give it a little circle there now i'm going to draw i'm going to draw a lowercase R. Kind of funky too. And I will share the same side there. So I've got that going. Now over here, maybe I want to do something different. And I want to do, I'm going to do a capital N. And now this one's ends are tricky for doing bubble letters unless you really know how to do them. So you may have to draw the capital like I drew my E and then make it bubble. There. Okay, so now I'm starting to build a little bit. Um, I, want to, I want to do something maybe, maybe I'm gonna make a, 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 an O. I'm gonna make an O right here. I wanna make sure it touches. And I'm gonna make that one kind of funky too. I don't really like my E. Um, part of it is because it's bleh, it doesn't really do for me. It's just kind of blah. It'll get much more interesting when I add the Sharpies, but for right now, it just isn't saying it for me. So I'm just gonna beef it up a little bit here. Get rid of some of these lines. Now, when you do the project, my goodness, you do not have to put down the letters I'm doing, okay? That's not what you're supposed to do. You do what you want, okay? So now I think um, I'm going to tuck in um, a capital Q. And I know that this is going to be here. We'll go like that. Okay, so I have a Q. Now it's only bumped up against there, but I'm gonna fill in with other things. I'm going to do a lowercase g. And I'm gonna make sure that it touches right there. And again, a silly, I didn't touch right there. So now we're starting to get things to develop, okay? Um, you gotta keep remembering what your alphabet looks like. So I'm gonna turn this, and do you see there's really no rhyme or reason? 
other than I just want things to touch. Here's a lowercase d. Okay. Um, and you know what's kind of funny right now? I feel like putting in the, letter, the, the number five. Just seems like it would fit right there. Okay, so it's touched everything right there. And now um, I'm going to do, I'm gonna go and do a baby E, a lowercase e for my name also. So it's just tucked right in there. And now I'm also going to do, let's see, right over here, I'm going to tuck in a lowercase m. That's part of my name also. Now, if you go off the page a little bit, that's always makes it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to take this space in here and put a dot to an I, lowercase. There we go. So, this is starting to happen. I always think it's easy to start with your own initial, your own first initial, just to keep going. And um, I, I think I'll do a, um, I can do capital, I'm gonna pull this out a little bit more. I'll do a capital L. The lowercase L is really not that exciting, is it? But we'll probably, I mean, I still wanna put it in. Why don't I just do it right here? this and there's my lowercase L okay now I could have brought my A out maybe I should bring my A out just a little wider so it touches that T because what we really want to do is close in so we have spaces that aren't open once we start coloring um, because that's the part that will will fill in with color Now you don't have to fill your whole page. Um, you just wanna make it shaped kind of interestingly. And so now I'm going to put, I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna do about right here. I'm gonna do a bubble letter. F. I do like that F. One more thing I'll do, a couple more things maybe, right in, right in through here and then just, um, I'll just let it go. I think I'm gonna, I think I'll do here. You know what I'm gonna make, can you tell? Okay, it's gonna be an X. Kind of a silly little thing on there. Okay, you got that, I kinda like that. I feel like one more thing here would be great. Okay, I think this is good. So I'm gonna stop with this for now. And now I'm going to um, start outlining what I just did. Now we aren't really thinking about it as separate letters and numbers. Now it's kind of more of a lines that are curved and straight and they all connect for the most part.
right up there. There, okay? So now we're gonna get into it. So I'm going to just color randomly each letter. So we got that. Woohoo! Now I'm gonna take this guy and oh, I kind of got off the page there. Okay. I'm gonna take this guy and outline now. So, what I'm gonna do is just make it interesting. Now, you can do a one line in there. Um, I'm going to kind of just oh, I tested this pen. Now, why is it not working? I'm gonna do one line in just to give it a little extra detail. And of course, your idea may be very different from mine. You may not wanna do that. Maybe you wanna do dots in there. No, make it a little different. Um, you could do some stripies if you want. I could speed this up a little bit. I don't need to do it quite like that. So maybe I want to do, like I said, stripes. And they can just come at an angle here. Okay, I'm going to outline my J so I come back to that original idea. you do I'm gonna just do little hearts in here you could do that so this is the doodle part you can doodle all you want doodle all day <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is, and this is, this is a lot of busy work, but it's not, you're not going to fill out all the way to here. You're just going to go in here and I'm going to fill in the shapes. Now I'm going to first test to see if I want to leave white or not. Usually I do not leave white around the letters or the shapes. We're in the shapes now because we aren't caring about the letters. I... Yeah, I'm going to leave a little space because I, I can always go back and fill it in if I don't like it. Just the tiniest bit of space. And we are working on the negative space now, the space that isn't catching our attention so much. And that is going to look pretty cool when I'm done. my hand a break. Okay, so now I'm gonna take scissors. I'm gonna take some bigger scissors. You can use small ones. These are better for you. Okay, now I'm gonna cut. And I don't have to cut exactly, but I wanna get about the same distance all the way around. really 
if you get in there, it could be a little tough to turn around in. So, that's how that looks. Okay, that's all for now. Bye. <laughs>